Um, it's really different. Uh, I think I've, I realized about myself that I work better on my own, that I don't work well with others. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and um, that I really needed to call the shots. When it came to my music, I think I could work well with others if I were working on somebody else's project. But when it comes to my own songs, I think I really need to be in control. I'm a Scorpio, I'm a control freak, and I needed to, to take control of my own music. So. Um, I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. Being in a band is magical and it's really exciting. It's like being in, you know, a romance in a way and it's really exciting and there's a lot of chemistry, but at some point that chemistry kind of fades and then you feel like you got to do something different. Exactly. Yeah. Um, it really, I mean, it means everything to me. It really was such an important uh project, such an important experience in my life, just the whole process of, of recording on my own, of writing these songs on my own and then recording them. And um, it's just been an incredible learning experience for me, learning to trust my own instincts. And the songs are very personal to me. And um, it's really hard to have any kind of perspective on them because they're a part of me. But, um, but I feel pretty proud. You know, it feels good because then you sort of feel untouchable. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what other people think. It doesn't matter if you only sell one copy of your record or if the critics hate you because you believe in what you did and you have a piece of work that you can be proud of and that is the greatest feeling in the world. How could I tell, how could I write a song called Hate Your Way and then tell national television what it's about? I could never do that. But it isn't. It isn't about my ex-band and it isn't about my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> it isn't about my father and it isn't about, yeah, so it isn't about my brother. <laughs> um, I wrote that song. I wrote the song tonight, tonight and the rest of my life at the time when um, I was leaving my band and breaking up with my boyfriend and turning 30 and just a whole bunch of changes. It was the middle of the winter in Chicago and it was pretty grim and um, and things were really hard for me but all of a sudden I just had this feeling, this moment of lightness and levity and um, this feeling of happiness and peace and so I wrote the song basically as a plea to myself to be able to hold on to that feeling for tonight and, and the rest of my life and um, it just kind of came pouring out of me like please let me hold on to these these moments because things have been pretty dark lately, but now all of a sudden I feel very light. So, um, so it seemed like a nice, um, a nice idea for the whole album, just uh, sort of looking forward and moving on with my life. <laughs> to the glittering and sticking. 